All I really want is something beautiful to say. All I really want is something beautiful to say. Uh -huh. Usually, you come to a title like you know, Isolate and Medicate, basically it sums up the album and it's it. You usually, usually I come up with them during the recording process, so it's just because I'm, I'm trying to put a bow on top of the whole thing. You know, it's just there to, to sort of seal everything up and finish the, the process and give it some sort of finality, I guess. Isolate and Medicate just seem to be the one that fit this one the best, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think you're constantly exploring new ways to, to write music and seeing where the boundaries are and, and, and how far you can step over them. Uh, and that's important because we don't want to we don't want to get bored of our own band, and we certainly don't want people that listen to the music to get bored. I think the major thing is I don't want people to, to know what's coming next really, all the time, you know. And I, I think that that's that's something we've done pretty well is, is that every time we put out a, a single for a new album, it's something that's a little bit left of, of center, so it, it catches people off guard. The, the idea is, is is that you're supposed to challenge again yourself and other people um, to, to listen to music in a different way. And so there is no limit for them for me. There's, there is no boundary. We were recently hanging out with uh, some friends in uh, the band Skillet and uh, they were saying that uh, the analogy they made was that, you know, releasing an album is like having a baby. You decide you're going to do this and then, you know, all the prep and everything goes into it and then a couple months down the line, you know, this thing comes out and it's almost like a weight off your chest, you know. Uh, I thought it was quite a, a clever analogy. There's definitely a sense of relief, I think, once, once the album's out. Now it's not in your hands anymore, now it just needs to do its thing. I think that this one we, we, we feel fairly confident about though, so every single time it gets slightly less nerve-wracking. Um, but it is, there's, there's, there's definitely a, um, an energy about it that, that's difficult to explain. I think the process of writing, it, it, music is it's just fun. The cathartic side of it is when you do the lyrics and the, and the vocals. Um, but then again, also, the writing is, is different in, in some sense. Like when I write my, so, stuff myself, there's a different feel to them. And when we write together, as we get in a room together, there's, there's sort of, there generally seems to be more of a groovy, sort of riffy nature to that stuff than there is to the stuff that I do by myself, because that's more introspective and uh, emotional. <laughs> We try to at least once on every album try and get into a room for a couple of days or a week or so because inevitably something interesting comes out of that, so, yeah. And I think the band's pretty open-minded. I mean, Sean, when he brings in ideas, we pretty much, we all personally like a lot of different styles of music, you know, that kind of sort of make up our individual DNA. So he brings in maybe something that, oh, I don't know, man, what do you guys think? And generally, it's it's fantastic, you know, some new new twist or turn that I think is really great and we should explore it. Writing Crash for me was, was, was when I was doing it, I felt something special. You know, I, I really, really fell in love with the song. As I was working on it, I was very much aware of the fact that it didn't follow any formula that, that traditionally producers and, and labels would, 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 would appreciate. This song doesn't have any, any recognizable chorus. It doesn't have any recognizable structure, necessarily. All we know, we're screaming without a sound. There's something really, I think something really beautiful about it. I'm hoping it becomes a single because I think it's the kind of song that, that I would love to be able to play every day for the next, you know, 20 years, let's call it. You know, I think we're starting to become a band that, that which is kind of cool is that we're a band that doesn't sound like other bands, which is really the point of being a musician, you know. And it's taken us a while to start doing that, but as it's happening more and more, it's becoming more and more clear to us that it's like, you know, it's, it's good to not sound like everybody else. You know? I really enjoy the process of taking 
nothing and making something out of it. And especially that really frustrating process of getting whatever's going on in here to come out of the speakers. And that's, that's incredibly difficult sometimes. I think everything we put out, uh, we put a lot of passion and, and work you know, into it, blood, sweat and tears, literally into the music. I hope fans pick up on the fact that you know, we care and the music's very important to us and we put a lot of work into this album. I think it's a strong album. Uh, I'm very proud of it and I hope the fans, you know, that comes across, you know, how much we care about the music and the product that we put out, you know. We live this, this is our life.